Hi, it's Jill again with Crick Flex. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And I sure hope you're not getting tired of me. Um, I think this is my third or fourth video today. Um, what I was going to share with you is that I am starting, I, I think I've already said this on my, on a different video, um, that I'm going to start sharing, or not sharing, posting, um, by die cut packages. I will be doing packets um, of uh, Thanksgiving, ho all the holidays, just different things. And this, the one that I'm doing, working on right now with somebody already ordered, are these little girls. And I don't know that if I, I don't know if I videotaped them before, but I took each one of the little girls and I added bling on them. Um, and the Prima Rosa, the Prima, Prima Rose, what are they called? Dry flowers. Um, and a little bling on them. This is the little makeup girls. And anyway, these are all going to be sold in sets of anywhere from four to six die cuts. And they each are going to be averaging um, five inches tall. And I'm going to be adding tons of these to my shop. Um, for those out there that are big into scrapbooking. I know I started doing scrapbook layouts. However, um, when you buy the stickers in the store, which I used to and never do anymore at all, never. Um, number one, I don't like stickers. The Jolies, I think, are really, really neat ideas. That They've got a lot of textures and things to them and, and a lot of dimension. However, they're very, very small. And I like my die cuts. I like my embellishments big. Um, here's another set of little girls. And again, what I've done on all of them is just like add a flower to give it that dimension. Um, actually, these aren't part of her order. These are extras here. Sure hope I, I might have to verify that I have this order done right. I was missing one, <clears throat> so I had to cut out another set, and I was going to videotape. This is it. This is the one that I needed. Oh, another thing I'm going to add is, maybe, 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 if I can find one. Um, I want to add my flowers here. I have a whole collection of these recollections. I'm going to use a pink here, I think, and I'm going to see if I had a purple. Yep, I do. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use this pink one here. Um, this little girl, I'm going to use a pink flower on her. And a little, um, you know, I was kind of disappointed. I went to Hobby Lobby, not Hobby Lobby, I went to Michael's the other day because I thought, oh my, holidays are over, you know, I can't imagine the sales that they're going to have. And I got out there <coughs> and um, there were no sales. So I was totally, totally disappointed. I did manage to spend $162. Um, can't believe that uh, I'm complaining that they didn't have any sales because I had no hard time, I had no qualms with spending money anyway. I don't know what clip I took these off of. Oh, I'll tell you. Losing it. Anyway, um, I'm going to put her on there with a little dab of hot glue. I don't need very much. And that will be her. This little girl, what I'm going to do is I have a bag of feathers here. And what I'm going to find is a purple feather. And I think feathers can be one of the hardest things to work with. But I insist on having them because I just think they're so cute. But actually, I have a, a down comforter um, on my bed that um, my husband has removed because he said the feathers poke through and poke him. So... 
I'd like to say this is where I got this array of feathers. See, there they go. Oh, runaway feather. Um, they're just so wispy, but they're really cute. And I think she has a purple feather in her hat here. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add. I'm not going to show the purple feather anymore because I'm going to add my own purple feather. Because I think that's cute. Or a cute idea anyway. Yep, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Okay, now. Oh, and these... Um, I wanted to say too that these, I showed you the one set of flowers. They have these recollections um, that come in these little packs and they're on sale a lot. And these work great for adding flowers, which I forgot to add hers right here. Um, they open from the bottom and I highly recommend either you get a Ziploc bag put them in or you'll be very careful when you open them because I hang all of my stuff um, up so that it's right here. I just did a tour of my office again today. Somebody had asked me, I believe it was Gina, um, and I like to have everything right here handy for me. So I just keep these on a hoop and then I hook them up to the wire there. Then, I am going to add some bling. I'm big on bling. I'm not sure where I'm going to add it, but I need a pair of tweezers. Oh, there they are right there. So, I'm going to add some bling. What girl doesn't like bling? You find me a girl that doesn't like bling. There's just no way. There's no possible way. I'm going to add it right there. And this is... I am really... I'm going to have to go back and see what was on each one of these because the only one I knew that I needed was this one. And I had them all sorted out. And now I don't know what I've done. Oh, well... I'll just have to recount them out. I spent part of my day today um, putting together a bunch of packages and, and um, posting them on my Etsy shop. And somebody had said, made a reference of my um, showing you that why would you go to my Etsy shop? Well, the people that would be watching these videos already have the, the machine and all I want to do is help you learn how to use it. Um, if you're a crafter and like to do that stuff, you're not going to be going to my shop anyway. You're going to be making it yourself. And those um, that aren't crafters, and see it on the video top shop, or my videos, they will go to my shop. And I'm going to take a little bit of um, this glossy glossy accents and I am going to do some glossy accents on this one she doesn't have a flower on she's got a baking cap she's a baker she doesn't need flour or she doesn't need a flower on she doesn't need a hat on I'm babbling I do that a lot and I got my pin stuck okay alrighty I gotta let that one dry, so we're gonna move that one aside. I'll stick it up here on one of my little bases. Um, I wanted to show you there's a couple things. Um, another order that I'm finishing up is La La Loopsy, um, and it's two two foot um, centerpieces and um, twelve boxes. And the only ones that I'm going to show you right now are going to be the. She'd ask me if I could do little boys, and I can. So I'm going to show you the little boy di um, that I did for the the um, La La Loopsie. Here's one of the little boys, and he is dressed up with um, little jean shorts on and a plaid shirt, and he has a little raccoon with a little cap on him. I think I'm going to use... Well, I did four boys because I'm going to set these in a set. 
This is the one I'm going to use on my brown one. The little pirate guy. A little pirate with little saddle shoes on and there's a little skull on his shirt and he comes with a little bird of some sort. I'm going to put him on the brown box and I put his background brown too. I'm going to put him over a little bit to the left because I'm going to take his little buddy here and pop that him and put him to the right. Now each one of these little boxes will have um, their pet, the little pet, the little la la loopsy and the pet. This is the little brown box. Too cute. When I'm all done with these boxes I will um, take a picture with them next to the centerpieces I did. Um, this was a this was the other one I did. I thought I did two more. I did. I got the little um, guy with the little red-headed guy. And he's got the denim pants on as well. And he came with a monkey. A little tiny monkey. And then I got the little sailor guy. Oh, I just noticed. I'm going to show you this. Anybody who has... Um, a silhouette cameo. I do not know why this do does this. It happens to me not frequently, but once is too many times. And it happened to me today. I just noticed now. When I cut this out, this looks like a box on a registration, um, a registration mark when you're going to cut it out. And it will randomly print on it on one of my printouts. Um, no rhyme or reason. Just anywhere on the sheet and this one I haven't felt fall on the shorts anybody that has a silhouette cameo could you make write a comment let me know if you run into this and if you have any idea what causes that I am not going to take the time to call American Silhouette because my uh, my time's too valuable I don't want to sit on the on the phone with them it doesn't happen that often but when it does it's annoying because I'll go to send something out and all of a sudden I'll notice it's got that black square on it so this guy has got to be trashed he isn't going to work. So I'm going to have to use this guy and I'm going to use him on a blue dog gone it. I'm going to have to make another one. And I think maybe I'll use one of these. Oh, I'll use the orange guy because I'm going to put him on the blue box and he has a little crab as his pet. A good kind of crab. Okay. Um, that will be on the blue box, and then I think I'll do the one, orange one on the blue box. Another thing I wanted to show you that I think is awesome, and I don't know if any of you watching has seen this before. It could be something that's been out forever and a day, and I just, I just discovered it the other day. And it's called Inca Gold Metallic Rub. Made by Viva, or is it Viva Color? Inca Gold Metallic Rub. Splash. Now, is that the bottom? Or is that the... No, that's... It. Um, I bought one in silver, and I bought one in gold. And all... I, you know, there's times that I want to add an accent piece where I um, want, like, uh, a pole, maybe on a flagpole, or... Um, a ring, something. There's times that I want metallic and I use metallic paper but I find out I, I waste a lot of paper um, and I have inks to do it and stuff but it's always so messy. This one, I'm using my Tim Holtz um, blending tool and I've got just one of those removable felt pieces on it and I just take it and just ever so lightly put it on that um, in this, it's a cream, like it's almost like a uh, shoe cream, and you just rub it on your on your material or your material, <laughs> your paper. And you know, I think that depending on what um, what you're trying to accomplish with it, um, if you would need two coats or not, I I I will show it 
when I, the next project that I need metallics, I will definitely videotape that and show. But I don't know how well you can see on the camera, but it looks like metal when it dries. It looks like silver. Uh, I don't know. I think this stuff is awesome. It wasn't cheap. I think it was $7.99 a, 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 a little case, but I used my coupon on it. But when it dries, it really looks like metal. It's it's awesome. But I got that at um, Michael's, and it was over by where all the Tim Holtz um, inks and things are in that column. But it's really, really neat. Okay. Um, I'm going to finish up these boxes and then I'm going to take a picture of everything and the next project I'm going to be videotaping is I'm going to be working on some more of the um, woody centerpieces. I have them all cut out, all their signs done and ready to go and I want to show you how I did a lot uh, one of the rope lassos because I think it is so cool and I've got to videotape it and show it so that you can use it. But anyway, um, I will be back shortly. Thank you.